Good evening, I'm Adrian Robbins. Welcome to 13 News Weekend Edition. Today, first responders from the Mountain State were tasked with the test of quick thinking, information gathering, and victim identification. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick takes us through the grueling training. Today, first responders tasked with this. Aircraft reported missing, dropped off a radar at 14, 15 hours. Do we have any questions? All right. The Wilderness Search and Rescue Course. Launching at Boone County's Hobbit Mine. Eight dummies to be located. Roll them back. One, two, three. And retrieved across 250 acres. Two teams, 23 first responders, in state and out of state. This kind of recovery. Get them out of here as we can. Working against time. We have a large section of the Appalachian Trail that run through our area. So uh, this will be able to help us bring this knowledge back to our county and pass that along. A very real life scenario to put their skills to the test. Uh, even though it's a training exercise, then we've actually participated in within our county. So it's going to be a lot of moving parts that we're responsible for. As one crew leader, I've got three ATVs and 11 personnel on my crew alone. So that's going to be an interesting challenge to overcome. And the opportunity to adapt and grow. In Boone County, in Pelico Kosick, 13 News, working for you. Today's wilderness search and rescue course jumpstarts many more training courses to take place at Hobbit Mine this summer, including swift water, large and small animal, and rope rescue.